So this unit looks at Trojans and Backdoors. Okay, some of the goals around Unit 6 is to look at uh, basic Trojan horse types, their goals, some infection mechanisms, the root kits, covert communications, backdoors, port redirection and keystroke loggers. So Trojan itself cannot spread and needs another program to distribute itself. So typical types of Trojans that we have, if we have a host, then one type of Trojan is to allow a remote desktop or a remote connection into the post. So an example of this is Sub7 and it typically involves opening up a port on the host and then for there to be a connection to it. This could be a remote desktop or a simple client server connection. You can also have uh, a, a root kit on the machine which logs keys, keystrokes and passwords and takes screenshots of any logging. So an example of this is with eBlaster. Then we can have the destructive Trojans which will typically do some serious damage to the host. So an example of this is hard disk killer, which will erase the contents of the whole hard disk. A warning uh, Trojan is a denial of service one. So in this one, uh, Trojans can be set up on machines and then can be used to create a denial of service against another host. We can also have a proxy. Uh, if the intruder the intruder can use a host as a stop off point to attack another machine so in this way the host can be at, can be used as a proxy for an actual attack ftp can be also used too and that allows for the uploading and downloading of files onto an affected machine and we can also have security software disablers where they try to disable the antivirus software. Some typical programs which use some form of remote access or backdoor include some of these programs. So we have uh, valid programs such as PC Anywhere, which uses port 5631 and 32. We have VNC, which allows for a remote desktop on 580 and 5801. Netcat uh, can also be used uh, as a for remote access. And then we have NetMeeting remote desktop. Citrix is another program which allows for remote access and typically uses port 1494. Some uh, malicious backdoors for remote access include back orifice, beast, Donald Dick, Loki, So the goal, what is the goal of a Trojan? Well, it might be to steal credit card details, to get passwords, get some insider information on the computer, might even be to store some con content, uh, but ultimately it could be some form of mischief on the machine. So some of the ways that a Trojan might get onto uh, a machine is through peer-to-peer -peer networks. So a user might download a uh, piece of software which has a Trojan already installed in it. It might come in, in through instant messenger such as MSN messenger. It might also come through an IRC channel uh, through the, the standard protocol. Often Trojans have came through by email where they have piggybacked themselves in through the email and, and trick the user to actually click on the link and install the Trojan. There might even be some physical access, so an intruder could actually get access into a machine and install a Trojan onto it. 
browser bugs have also been a particular problem in, in the past where programs have been injected through these bugs and also freeware programs are distributed for free but might contain some sort of malware such as a Trojan